But the first one up is uh, Tor Tor Lardal, and he is whoops yeah we'll let that stay there. He is renowned for his commitment to his uh, company's mission, which is helping save lives. Tor Lardal is a businessman with a heart and has become one of Norway's true leading social innovators in terms of using his competence and his resources for social benefit. He established the not-for-profit company Laurdal uh, Global Health in 2010 with a mission of helping reduce maternal and infant mortality in low resource areas. The ultra simple and highly affordable newborn and birthing simulators developed by the company have significantly reduced infant mortality. Torda Laerdal is executive chairman of the Laerdal Medical and executive director of the Laerdal Foundation. He furthermore chairs the board of two other research foundations and is also the executive director of the Laerdal Foundation for Acute Medicine. Please welcome Torda Laerdal. Okay. Good morning. It's a pleasure to be here. I have a long story, and I'll try to make it very brief, uh, because time is uh, in shortage here. Let me start by uh, paying tribute to my late father, who founded our company. Uh, he started out in uh, being a quite successful toy maker, and uh, in the late 1950s, he got obsessed about making a life-size lifelike doll that could help spread what was then new possibilities of saving lives through modern life-saving uh, techniques to the population at large. So he developed Resocian, which has, uh, and you see him uh, actually doing mouth-to-mouth uh, uh, -mouth, uh, resuscitation on that mannequin here, in uh, 1960, and since that time, this model and other models we have made have been used to train an estimated three to four hundred million lifesavers worldwide, and according to the American Heart Association, um, have helped, and I stress helped, um, save uh, in excess of two million lives, in particular from sudden cardiac arrest. This has really, um, something's wrong with this slide. Uh, but you see three uh, companies uh, or, or three entities mentioned. Laerdal Medical, which is uh, our commercial uh, company that is allowing us to do uh, what we do in uh, uh, the Laerdal Foundation and in Laerdal Global Health. And these three entities, they share the mission of helping save lives. So which lives can then be saved? If we look at a more traditional uh, sort of uh, approach to this, it is uh, in particular about helping save victims of sudden cardiac arrest or drowning and road traffic accidents. But this is the uh, conventional uh, sort of picture at this, looking at the developed or the rich countries. Uh, you see um, um, the length of the bars stretch about half a million to a million uh, victims per year dying to a large extent unnecessarily because a chain of survival is not functioning as well as it could. Now if I push for more time, there is a dramatic change to this uh, slide. Now I added the low resource countries. And we are talking about these lives we can influence because largely these people die untimely. They die because nobody is uh, restoring their oxygen supply to the brain. That is the main reason they're dying. And uh, time doesn't allow me to go into details, but the staggering fact is that of all these lives, 80% relate to day of birth. Or the newborn uh, period, the first 28 uh, days of life, or maternal, uh, the mothers uh, in, in, in labor situation. And we are very, very uh, privileged to be part of four programs that are now being implemented to do something with this. And these four programs can help save one million lives per year. One is called Helping Babies Breed. That can reduce birth asphyxia and fresh stillborn by 50% and 25% respectively. Another one, Essential Care for Every Baby, can reduce infections. The uh, second largest uh, 
uh, cause of death in the newborn period by up to 15 per, uh, 50%. A third program, special care for small babies. 60% of the babies dying in the newborn period are preterm. They're born more than two uh, weeks early. This can also be reduced by 50%. And maternal mortality can be reduced by 33% by enabling birth attendants to control uh, the currently uncontrolled uh, bleeding. So here is um, the helping babies breed, and you see at the bottom, USAID, NIH, Save the Children, uh, American Academy of Pediatrics, Lala Global Health. We are the private partner in this, along with Johnson & Johnson, uh, in a public-private partnership that is implementing this program. I meant to bring this, uh, uh, this, this neonatal uh, uh, simulator, uh, but my luggage was delayed this morning. But there are now in excess of 60,000 of these uh, simulators, which is water-filled, it's costing $50, in use in over 62 um, low-resource countries. The first 150,000 birth attendants have been trained, and birth asphyxia has been reduced by 47% according to a large study in Tanzania. The second program, Essential Care for Every Baby, uh, we are making these uh, uh, products you see to the right, a breast training simulator and a newborn simulator. Breast milk expression and feeding uh, the baby with spoon, or if it's a preterm, also with uh, a gastric tube, can make a big difference. Exclusive breastfeeding can save four to 500,000 lives per year, according to WHO. Then, saving mothers also save babies. I mentioned uh, 80 to 90,000 mothers are dying of uncontrolled bleeding. It's about 40% of the mothers dying on day of birth. It is 200 times more risky to give birth in Africa than in Norway, for absolutely no uh, good reason. It is because simple steps that can save lives are not being taken. This is not about breakthrough, it's about implementing what is already known. So Ladal started out as a commercial company. We have expanded uh, to uh, Ladal Global Health and the Ladal Foundation. And this is something beyond social responsibility. Because it's a shared mission. It's mission driven, it's not primarily philanthropy-driven, it's mission-driven, helping save lives. And by doing this, we are also increasing employee motivation and brand value in our commercial company that is making this possible. That all medical has about 1,400 employees in 24 countries uh, today. To summarize my introduction, innovation that everybody's talking about is not about breakthrough, it's about follow-through. It's about implementing what we already know, it's about impact. Impact is mostly about implementation, and uh, implementation requires collaboration. So, who will join the forces to save one million lives per year? Thank you. Thank you. You can uh, yeah. have a seat in the panel. I can highly recommend uh, to watch uh, Torda's uh, uh, TED talk, um, I did. Uh, it's a little bit longer, and he goes into much more of the history, and it's really a phenomenal story. So, TED talk, Lauerdahl Global Health.